What's shaking? Y'all know I'm bacon. This is Calzags back on the mic once again. And today we got another Nickelodeon All Star Brawl guide. This one's gonna be on Sandy Cheeks. Y'all know we needed to do it. Let's get into it. Thanks for all the love on the Powder Toast Man guide. Go check that out if you guys haven't. If you want to learn about that character, remember to drop a like, subscribe. It helps the channel more than you guys know. But besides that, let's get over to Jellyfish Fields and talk about Sandy Cheeks. And here we are in Jellyfish Fields here with Sandy Cheeks, ready to do some practice. So just on the whole, uh, when it comes to Sandy, she has a really good uh, good game overall. She's got some strong strong attacks. They do do some solid damage. They're a little bit harder to connect, uh, but that's made easier with one of her special moves where she throws out her lasso, and we'll talk about that more shortly. Um, but overall, she's a really interesting character, almost like a more combative Isabel from Smash Bros. You guys, that's kind of an iffy in between. The fishing pole is just so similar to the lasso for me, so I know it's not the best comparison. Um, but that's kind of what I'm treating it as. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into her moveset, and then we'll talk more generally about how to use her. So starting out, we have her jab combo. Definitely a solid thing. Uh, you'll often go into the lasso, into this jab combo. Super helpful. Quick. Doesn't slow down. Really nice thing to pull out. Recommend it, guys. Next, we have the uppercut. Your usual up light attack. I mean, obviously going to be something very useful to pull out if they're above you on that platform there, and you just need to get something quick out. Uh, pretty solid. Does hit just barely in front of you as well there, so good little attack. As you guys can see, can pop people straight into the air. Uh, handy to start those aerial combos. Next up, we got the tail sweep. I actually really like this one because it's got so much range. Uh, this is going to be your down light attack. And just a super handy attack. It's one of her longer range attacks, as I was saying. As you can see, just going to get a decent amount of range in a variety of directions. It will hit behind you, as you guys can see here. So definitely useful for that. A little bit more range in the forward direction though, for sure. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much her light ground attacks. Let's move into her strong uh, ground attacks. This one is the punch kick combo, I believe, and definitely a useful one to uh, pull out. Just, you know, your standard strong attack. She's mostly a melee fighter, almost like a, you know, karate expert of sorts. And, uh, you know, this is one that you'll want to combo into, get get in some jabs, go straight into your uh, strong attack, finish people off on the ledge with it, whatever you got to do. And uh, her down strong is the Karate Chop. Super, super, you know, it's your spike. So, super great ledge guard. You know, you can get over here, do a little spiking down to them. And uh, just overall a solid attack. I mean, it does extend that hitbox with that big of a hand. Um, so I definitely recommend this this attack, you know, also if they're rushed down, that down strong on almost any of these characters, if people are just rushing down on you, is always going to be something useful to pull out. Next we got the up strong, I do like this one too because of the spin effect, you're going to get a lot more range than you might get from some other up strongs in the game, uh, you know, almost like a nair on the ground, so I really do like this one, uh, good little get off me tactic if you need it. Um, but solid little, you know, ground play that she's got there, pretty all around, and that's what you'll find with Sandy, that, uh, she really, you know, may not be considered the best character in the game by any stretch of the imagination, but she's definitely a solid contender and competitor in this game due, her, due to her versatile array of tools that she has at her disposal. Let's get into her specials, and then we'll talk some aerial and dashes. Uh, so the Sheriff, this is the lasso, this one's gonna be coming out all the time if you're at Sandy, you want to be at this this distance right here, this solid distance, pull them in, they can defend to make it so that you don't grab them, but any new players are going to get easily grabbed and you can kind of just combo it, but other than that you want to bring it out at the right times, uh, bring them into you, and then go into whatever combo you might want, maybe that's a jab combo, maybe it's an uppercut, just like that, knock them into the air, start doing some aerial stuff to them. Or maybe it's a strong attack. I mean, there are just so many options out of this thing. It pulls them straight to you, basically takes them out of it. Really, 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 really solid special that she has there. Next, let's do her up special. So her up special is actually a pretty good uh, way to get back onto the, you know, recover onto the ledge. And as you can see there, you can actually use it twice. So you can use it once, let it go all the way. Sorry, I, did, I took too long there. So go up, then go to the side, which is pretty nice because you can actually cover more ground. It's not just vertical. It has that horizontal ability, and you can actually attack out of it. So I can go up to the side and still punch and, and hit with it uh, if you actually make 
contact with the enemy. Note that you can basically go to the side at any point, so I can go straight up and hold it and hit it at the top, or I can do it really early on into the attack. And this basically gives you control over if you want to go over and punch, because then you can clear the ledge with that. And it's just a really nice recovery because it, it is an attack uh, throughout the process, and it's a horizontal attack. You can clear that ledge. Super useful in that regard. Next, we have the Extendo Boots. So these are a little bit harder to use, but they're basically an uppercut. So if they're right in front of you, uh, just like you do with the up tilt, like that one there, it's just going to be a Extendo Boot. Uh, that uppercuts them but you can come down with it and this will extend your hitbox so watch out guys those extendo legs do count towards your hitbox so be careful on that so you can actually press it again in the air and pull your legs up to your body and even combo it again if you need so that little combo is pretty interesting um you know obviously a little hard to connect there yeah uh, they're a little weird they're a little weird i'm not gonna lie to you guys you guys might find more success with them if you practice they are gonna take some getting used to definitely the strangest of all her specials her other specials are just so easy to get into and so useful um i'm not saying i dislike them or anything i think they're it's useful um especially on there on the platform or anything like that uh but it can be weird it can be weird you can still do it in the air it just gives you that little bit of range right above you um, so might be good for a good finisher or something like that. Next, let's go into the aerial. So your light air is going to be the punches to the side. Uh, not the most range, but you know, useful if they are potentially moving around about a dash, something like that. You can catch them on either side. Your up light is the uppercut once again. Pretty much speaks for itself. You know, go put them up at the top, take them off the stage if you need. And the down tilt has a little bit of range with the boot there. Uh, what you'll find with most of her aerial game is the range is a little bit not so great. Leaves a little bit to be desired, but if you can hit them, they hit really solid. Uh, they do solid damage, but again, not like Leo's swords or anything like that. They don't have the most range, so you've really got to get in there to make these connect. Uh, next, we'll look at the strong airs, and so we've got my favorite. Uh, probably of all her aerial attacks, which is where she puts these boots to the side here And it's really because she just has so much range. So I find myself actually killing with these quite a bit uh, And I really recommend it to you because she travels a good amount of distance when you do that And next we have the down air. Um, this one does hit hard But again, it just I feel like the, almost the down light has more range than the down strong with the tail there uh, I find this one pretty hard to hit. Not very much range, honestly. Not my favorite of her uh, array, but you know, obviously a good spike if they're somewhere off the ledge. And finally, her strong up, which is where she puts her both her boots in the air. I also like this one. I feel like her strong neutral and side, as well as her up strong, are all solid because of the range. I just feel like the down strong is a tough one because that tail is so much shorter. Um, but this one's a great one, you know, chase after people, do what you gotta do, and then go give her, go give them some feet. You know, the double toes in the air, finish them off, let them know you're there. Not too bad as you guys can see, it was a little bit of a high percent there, but you know, it's a good little way to knock them off to the top. Lastly, we have the dash attacks, and this one's gonna be the acorn, the light attack. This one's pretty nice, because it is, it is quick, obviously, you can get in there, slide in, but my favorite of her dash attacks is the strong dash, I love this one. The seashell just has a, a nice solid hitbox. She really pulls it out at a good speed and travels a good distance. And it just, it honestly just chains really well into other attacks. So you can basically grapple them. You can grapple them, hit them with the strong, and then run after and follow up with your seashell just like that. And it's, it's a really solid way to go. I highly recommend you get that seashell as involved as possible, guys. So overall, I really feel like Sandy is a all-around versatile character. I really like her sheriff move because it, it allows you to apply pressure from basically afar, you know, from a distance without having to put yourself out there. Now they can counter that and uh, defend against it, but it's tough. The thing comes out fast, comes out a lot, and even if they do defend, uh, you can kind of take advantage of that, run up and grab them, something like that, whatever you gotta do. Her recovery is super great as well. So that's just another cherry on top for Sandy. Obviously from a, a fantastic universe, just a, a fun character to go out there and play with. And I, I really recommend her to you guys. So I hope that kind of showed the moveset of her. Uh, there are some flaws with her again as well. Her, her, the range of her moveset is not the greatest. So you've got to get used to that. And I think it will cost you some damage as a result of that. But if you can kind of learn when to pick your shots, Sandy's real good. She's real good at finishing people off, especially when they're over to the sides with their strong uh, side or a strong up 
as well. Uh, and I highly recommend it. She's just a lot of fun, guys. Uh, she used to obviously have the, the Mewtwo King like jab uh, reset. You know, infinite jab reset. They supposedly have patched that. So hopefully that's not happening anymore. Where Sandy can just infinitely jab combo you and uh, take you out of the game. That's not supposed to be in the game anymore. So let me know if you guys are encountering that at all. But yeah, guys, that is Sandy Cheeks for you. I hope that kind of covers her bases. Let you know what's going on with her. Uh, I recommend you go give her a try and see what you think. Let me know in the comments uh, if you guys pull out any other moves, any other good combos with Sandy that you'd recommend. Or anything else. I, I read all the comments, so I'll be in there hanging out. Say what's good. Drop the video a like, subscribe, helps so, so, so much, and I really appreciate you guys being here. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Until then.